with coverage you can count on. This is News Channel 8's Good Morning Connecticut. What is your dog learning from whether you know it or not, and uh, whether you're looking in the right camera or not, while you're rushing around the house trying to get to your next appointment, your dog is watching. They may even be experts on our behaviors by now. And join us this morning for more on what they're learning from us are Richard and Vicki Horowitz of Barkbusters. Thank you very much for coming in. Good day, Hope you didn't uh, get too wet in the rainstorms we've got out there. No. Uh, t tell us, uh, it only makes sense, I guess, that our dogs are studying us, whether we want them to or not. We're, we try to teach them some things, but there's plenty that they're learning from us without us knowing it? That's correct. Correct. Dogs are very routine oriented. So that if I grab my briefcase in the morning, they know I'm going off to work. Okay. Take your sneakers, they know you're going for a walk, they get excited, and they really they study us all the time. Can that lead to some not so good things? Yes, especially if you're digging in the backyard, for instance, and we're weeding, mm -hmm. we're digging holes, and the dog happens to be out there watching us. Oh, it's okay to dig. So we get a call from a customer that says, my dog is digging in the yard. We go to their house and we notice that they have beautiful landscaping. So we talk to the owners and she goes, oh yeah, I'm outside and I'm doing a lot of gardening and the dog is watching me. I go in the house and all of a sudden I come out and there's holes in the yard. They can't learn the weeding, but they can learn the digging. That's, That's right. too bad. Exactly. All right, but I mean, so what, what's the answer? You just lock the, the dog away, put a blindfold on him? What do you do? Well, you have to teach them that that's not appropriate behavior. And okay. so what you have to do is either redirect them to do something else, or you correct them when you see them making those kind of mistakes. Dogs are really good at, at, at turning things around and initiating things as well. So for example, if you're getting ready to go to work and they know that they usually walk, you get, walk them at a certain time, mm. they may actually initiate the process before it starts. So they may all of a sudden hand you the leash when you haven't even gotten your shoes on. So dogs really like to learn to be in control. So that's another way that they learn from us and they try to train us. Sure, okay. They're trying to do it right back to us. Let's stick with the digging in the yard example though. Yes. I mean, I, I, I want to work in the yard what should I do with the dog? Well, actually, you keep the dog in the house or you give them some entertainment, whether it's playing a ball or something, so they're off doing something else and not really paying attention to what you're doing outside. Oh, ah, okay. Distract them. Yes. Absolutely. All right. right. And you mentioned an important thing there about the, the negative reinforcement while they're, they're doing a behavior. I know that's, that's very important, right? Not, yes. You know, you can't punish them an hour later. That doesn't make any sense, no, right? No, dogs yeah. live in the moment. You have to correct them at the time that the incident is happening. Okay, um, should it, just general for dog owners out there, some, some quick things that they should change in their daily routines as they go to work and do all these things? Well, what's really important is that you do change your routines so that your dogs don't learn to predict what you're going to do because they're very sequence driven and routine driven. You don't, you may not put their food down right after you walk them. You may wait and put their food down right before you leave the house or if you are, um, if you always, for example, play with them at a certain time during the day, you may want to change that up because what dogs learn to do is anticipate these things are going to happen and they start asking you for attention. If you don't put your food, their food bowl down, they'll sit there and they'll look at you and look at the food bowl and look at you and look at the food bowl like, aren't you going to feed me? <laughs> so it's very important that you let your dogs know that you're the leaders of your pack and that you make all the decisions. Otherwise, they take those jobs over and then they become very stressed out because they can't handle those responsibilities. Okay, so they, they, they crave routine, they'll get stressed out if it's broken, but if there's no routine... Then you have then chaos. So then you have chaos and they will become the leaders of the house, the leaders of the pack. Interesting. Okay. And we want to stay the leaders of the pack. That's Absolutely. the way it works best. Yes. All right. Yes. Richard and Vicki of Barkbusters, thank you very much for coming on in here. Uh, for more on what you are teaching your dog, log on to our website, WTNH.com. Click on the Good Morning Connecticut Weekend section for all that.